All right, so here's how we can make Microsoft Edge less obnoxious and in general have less sponsored content. Let's open Edge. First thing you see when it pops up is this. To me, this is far too much intensity for a new tab page. All of the sponsored content, you would think when you hover on one of them, for example, like this one, it says popular mechanics. You'd think you'd be going there if you clicked it, but no, nope, no, nope. look at the bottom left. It's an MSN link. So this is, of course, Microsoft pushing their own content. And of course, there's ad revenue related to this. So the first time I launch Edge in a new install of Windows, typically the first thing I do is I make this page less obnoxious. That's step one. To do that, you can simply move the mouse over to the cog here, left click it, and then you see where it says show promoted links. You can just click from on to off. That will hide the links that appeared under search the web over here. And then the next thing we're going to turn off is under where it says show feed. We can again turn this off. And then when we left click over here, you'll notice that it's a lot more relaxing now. There's a nice little photo, no obnoxious links. This is progress. So the second thing I typically do is I change what the home page is. Because right now, if I close Edge and reopen it, the page that comes up is this again. Now, it's better than it was before, but my goal is to have Google here. Because I use Google all the time. I'm not interested in using MSN and searching the web. So to achieve that, we have to click the triple dot icon over here. And then we have to go down to where it says settings. And then when we are in settings, we have to click start, home, and new tabs on the left. And then you'll notice at the top, it says when Edge starts, open the new tab page. No, 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 that's not what we want. So instead, we have to click the radio button here where it says open these pages. And then under where it says pages, all the way on the right, what I like to do is I click add a new page. And then I enter HTTPS google.com. HTTPS just makes sure that it's secure. And then I'm going to press add. You can see here that it says that it added it. That's fine. And then after doing that, even though I'm not planning to make the home button visible, just for good measure, I usually go down here to the show home button in the toolbar section and where it says new tab page, I change that and I enter a URL, HTTPS, google.com, and then I can just press save. That way in the future, if I want to turn on the home page, it's already going to know that Google's where I want to go. So let's test it, right? Let me close the browser and reopen Edge. Google, cool. All right. Now, what about if we go into a new tab? Oh, right, the new tab page is still here. Okay, what about if I search up here? Hmm, do you see that? Bing search, again, it's Microsoft pushing their own products. I don't like Bing search, I prefer Google. Now to get this fixed, let's go all the way to the right where there's the three dots again, and then we're gonna click that, go all the way down to where it says settings, and now we're gonna go to the privacy search and services section, and here, scroll all the way down, all the way down, you're going to see there's a section called address bar and search. You can just left click that. And then here it says search engine used in the address bar being recommended by default. Uh, no, we're going to say Google instead. Okay. Now that that's done, we can close this. Okay. So let's try to do another search here. You see search Google search. Now it actually understands if I press enter that I want to go to Google. Perfect. All right. Here's one problem though. If I press new tab, it's still this page. What if I really want this page to be gone and I want to live the Google life, just have Google appear immediately? Well, if you want to do that, guess what? You can't because you're a hostage. That's why. Microsoft really wants to make sure that you use Bing at least sometimes. So if I type here, puppies, then I'm on Bing and that's what they want. They want to up their search traffic. Now we can undo this. There is one way to undo it. And here's what you got to do. Basically, again, back to our favorite three dots in the top right corner here. And then we're going to go to where it says extensions. We're going to go and click get extensions for Microsoft Edge. And here, I'm not kidding, we're going to type new tab. Now, I'm going to select an extension today, but understand that by the time you see this video, that extension might not exist and I can't vouch for the code that's in that extension. I don't know what it's going to be in the future. So just choose wisely. But in general, these extensions are probably very simple. So I'm going to scroll down here and I'm going to click the one that says custom new tab. I'm going to press get. It's warning me that the extension can change the page I see when I open a new tab, but that's okay because that's literally what I want to do. So I'm going to press add extension. And then it says to help protect your browser settings, Microsoft Edge turned off the following extension. That's nice, but I'm going to turn that on. You see right here, custom new tab, it's been turned off to protect me. Okay, I'm going to turn it on. Once again, you got to be careful when you enable extensions, but this, this one I'm not worried about. So I'm going to click this puzzle piece right here, which is the extension button. And then I'm going to click the three dots next to custom new tab. And I'm going to go to the extension options. 
And it's just like, what URL do you want the new tab to be instead of the Microsoft Edge new tab? And you know where I'm going with this. Okay, so when I press save, it says a new tab page is now set to the URL given above. Let's test it. Click this. Oh, it went to Google, but look at this message. Is this the new tab you expected? An extension has changed the page. Again, this could be really useful if it's a hostile extension, but we know this extension's fine, so we're gonna keep the changes. So let's do one last round of tests. I'm just gonna go ahead and close all these tabs. I'm gonna relaunch Edge. Google comes up first, perfect. Let's do a search. There you go. Comes up in Google immediately, and a new tab. We fixed it. It just took an extension and a few steps. Let's face it, guys. The Microsoft Edge that's in Windows 11 is really not that bad. I just find that out of the box, it is obnoxious. I don't like how busy the interface is, and I much prefer the slimmed down just appearance that Google has. That said, Microsoft Edge is still baked into the Windows 11 OS. Even if you manage to install it, which you could, I wouldn't really recommend it because Microsoft kind of expects it to be there. And in some cases, they will launch Edge instead of your default browser. And depending on your age, you might actually recall that Microsoft was involved in a pretty serious antitrust case in the past, and they were pretty guilty, guys. Now, don't get me wrong. I love Windows, and I also think that Edge, the Chromium Edge, which we're used to in Windows 11, it's, it's the only one, is probably the best iteration of a Microsoft browser. That said, when they assault my eyeballs on first launch and every time I go to a different tab, they try to force me to use their service, I'm going to change that because I feel like I deserve better. If you found that helpful, like and subscribe. I would appreciate that.